a very frustrating item for many people that are new to Power Apps is how do I take a gallery that I'm working in right here, for example, how do I take and edit a task inside of another screen? And if you notice there, how we're moving to a form called Form Task Edit, but yet this screen we are on called Task Gallery. So how do we go from a picking screen like this to another screen and transfer data in between those screens? This can be, this is actually not too difficult. Here it is right here, but let's go over it. I think you're going to find this is a good reference video for you whenever you have to do this. This is out of my favorite things that I keep next to me uh, whenever I want to create a SharePoint gallery uh, inside of Power Apps. I use these records right here. These are my kind of my cheat sheet uh, that I use to kind of get things going. So today we're just going to talk about editing that record on another screen. So stay tuned. All right, so let's walk through this carefully. Um, you can see here, first of all, the code itself. So um, here's the variable that we're capturing from the library. This indicates that it's from the gallery itself. Here is a variable for the record ID so that we can match it in the where we're going, and then this item.id, okay? So we're kind of setting this variable so that we can find those things. And then here, we're just navigating to that screen. This is a way to do it. This is a way to do it. Another way you can do it is here with a little simpler code. We're creating a, a variable right off of the bat, bat called var edit task and this item. And then we're navigating over to that form. And then we're telling that form that we need to use whatever information comes from that variable. So let's walk through this step by step. All righty. So we have one thing we have to remember. First of all, where are we? Right here. So we're in this gallery right here. See this gallery? And I'm sorry, we're in this gallery right here. Okay. And so, um, so we want to go to the master record. Remember, when you're editing galleries, you have to be at the first record. Notice where these, these lines are here. Let me get that a little bigger. Right? The bubbles. Click on here. And notice the bubbles are here now. Okay? <laughs> or um, I think they call them handles, I think is the official term. So here is the handle. Here are the handles for this primary record. Any... Any change that I make at this point will be reflected in all of these. So here, for example, okay, so it makes it throughout every single display in my gallery. And that's really what's called a gallery, right? Now, within this gallery, I have my next button. Now, some of you may ask, well, why don't I just have that next button outside of the gallery? Well, the reason why is because we're keying in on this item. And this item is this item, whichever record it happens to be on, right? So inside of the gallery. So that's what we're keying in on. This is just a variable that we created just we, you could literally name it anything you like, okay? Now, on this, hap this one, I happen to be using a form, which we're going to go to next. But n now I primarily just use like this, um, just create my own forms and use the patch command because forms are kind of a pain in the neck sometimes. But here, so this is the action. So if you're creating a gallery... Uh, you have a SharePoint list and you're creating gallery. These are the columns in the list, right? And you're and these are all columns here. And you're just creating a SharePoint gallery. You want to pull information from that SharePoint gallery, right? You've associated this gallery already. You've associated it with a list. In this case, it happens to be priority tasks. Okay. 
So you've already associated this with the list. Now these are just records in that list. That's all they are, and they're being displayed in the gallery. So we can display information on one screen, but then we may want to get into more details. Now, just a word to the wise. If you put too many things on here and you hit the Save button, it's going to go through every single record. So sometimes I don't put anything on here, right? Because, uh, you know, I just maybe want a link or one or two critical fields. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> because, um, you know, you just don't want the save to take forever. So just be mindful of the changes made on this screen. And notice that I'm not modifying big fields here, like big text fields. These are short and simple dates, numbers, yes, no's, very simple text because it saves a lot faster. Okay. And notice this one here is grayed out. That just means that um, I can't edit it. It's just a field that's here just for me to know. Okay. So anyways, so back to this. Boom. We're all good there, right? This is pretty simple. Just copy it and remember it. And then let's go over to the form. We have to do one thing to the form as well. So let's go ahead and pull up that form. Now, in a thing, when you have a lot of stuff, you can just type in form, task, edit only. Do you see it right there? There it is right there. We're just going to click on it. Now we're on this screen, this is the form, and we want that task name to come over here. So let's let's go ahead and go back again. Let's just go back. And we're just gonna click on it here. Do you see how it transferred over the LinkedIn stuff? So let's take that off. And now we're in that form, we're on that page, okay? So here you can see that, um, and this is the form itself that's being used and there's lots of fields and things like that okay so we're just going to stay there we can cruise down to where that is um and we have the form right here okay now notice that we have a couple fields here data source we have items and look at item item is var task edit so that means that everything that we entered in on that last screen, it's set in its record, and now it's transferred here. So this information, right, is the um, information, the title that we got from the past screen. So that's all that you have to remember to do. So let's play this and go back. So the first thing, just as a reminder here, first thing, need to set this button up right here. This is the gallery. need to set this button up and create a variable, var task, edit task, and this item. That's it. Okay? Then you just need to go over to the other form, to the form where you're working right here. And you just need to set the form up, not the screen. The screen is gal form task edit. That's not what we're setting up here. We're setting up the form in this case, which is which is where the data is. And if this was a gallery, we would set the item to the to the variable as well. So it's the same thing. And then we just set that up and hit save. And now all the data will move over. Then you can fill in fields here and then hit um, save. So you can put your big text fields. You can do whatever whatever floats your boat. Then when you hit save. You want to look at save here real quick. Now, this happens to be a form, so it's just updating. Uh, where is it? Right here. It just submit the form, and it and it updates it and gets it all updated. This is a counter thing that runs. I can explain that in another video. So, anyways, um, that's about it. So, good luck. Bye.